If you own a 2014 to 2019 Jeep Cherokee, you need to know where the Park Override release is at. Today, I'm going to show you where it's at and why you need to know. Welcome back. My name is Brandon Hainline, your Jeep Informant, and today we're taking a look at the 2014 to 2019 Jeep Cherokee KL, and we're going to show you where the Park Override release is and why you would need to know this. Now, if you already know this, then there's no need to watch it, but for those of you who don't, I want to put a little casting uh, vote up here in the top right corner. How many of you know where this is at or don't know where this is at? Now, there are several reasons that you need to know where this is at. One, let's say your battery is dead, okay? You got a dead battery and you're, let's say you're in the garage. Battery dies in the garage. Well, guess what? You can't put jumper cables on it. If you're pulled into the garage, you need to get the vehicle outside the garage so you can get your other vehicle over to jump start it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, let's say another scenario, let's say you were in an accident. Hopefully that would never happen, but the vehicle is, uh, you know, the vehicle is stuck in the park position and the tow truck driver comes out to tow it, okay? And, uh, you know, most of the guys know this, okay? Most of the tow truck drivers know this, but if you have somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, they could really damage some stuff in the transmission and you can be smart enough to show them where it's at. So if for any reason your vehicle has a mechanical or electrical failure of some sort that won't allow the vehicle to come out of park, this technique will be able to let you move the vehicle to a safe place. Now the first thing we need to do, and it's the most important thing we do before we do this procedure, is apply the parking brake. Pull this, make sure that little yellow light is on, and you can also hear the parking brake applied in the back there. Now our uh, park override release is underneath this leather cover. It's, you can get to it two ways. You can pull this leather cover up, or you can pull this complete whole trim panel up. I prefer just pulling this up is a little easier. Now if you feel around here you can feel like a little plastic piece. Just get here and it can be a little tough to get out but uh, pull that out. Definitely make sure you don't pull from this end because there's these two little hooks here that slide in first and then that clips down. So make sure you pull from the, the top side. Let's go ahead and get this up. Now if we're in an emergency situation we may not have tools with us but one thing we do have is the key. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this. Good grief. All right, got that out. So we're going to get this little piece here out, and we're going to put it right in this hole. Now, there's two things you can do. You could put it in this hole here, or if you look closer, we try to zoom in, this little tab right there, little tab right there on the side, you can push that down also. Um, I'm just going to insert the key into this and that all that's doing really is just pushing it down i'm going to apply pressure to this key push this down and then and then pull you know just like if you're trying to pull out of gear now as you can see the car is not running nothing and the vehicle is in neutral you know always make sure that parking brake is applied guys okay uh, that's very important so now the vehicle is in neutral and can be rolled now, I wonder if if you press the brake. Looky there, guys. That's 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 interesting. We're pressing the brake and I can't release it, but the vehicle is off. Let's see. Run position. Okay, you can turn it off there. So, all right. Now, now I'm rolling. I'm rolling right now. So this is. Er, I need to pull that. Okay, there we go. All right. So that's how you do that. Well, guys, and now you know where the Park Override release is for the 2014 to 2019 Jeep Cherokee is. Now, I hope that you never have to use this in a situation where you're in an emergency, but if you do, now you know. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're smarter now than you were when you started this video. Take care, guys. Have a great day. I want to give a big thanks to all my current patrons. Thank you so much for your monthly support. And don't forget to shop the Jeep Informant Amazon store. Any purchases you make through this link down in the description area will go to help this channel. Thank you guys. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.